Greetings! In this video I will explain my project 741 which was to achieve noise cancelling with OPM741. Now I'm sure most of you who completed a physics course will know what noise cancelling is but to give you a context if there is a sound wave and an inver inverted sound wave when you add them together you will get absolutely nothing because they will cancel out each other. To invert this signal to this signal, I will use 741 OPM that will invert well, this signal to this signal, which is right over here. So on this breadboard, this lane is positive 10 volt and this lane is negative 10 volt, with this lane being the ground. And of course, this is inverting 741 OPM, this is the output and that is the ground for the headphone. Now down here is another preamp. This is a simply a voltage regulator. This is a LED to check if it's working or not. And this is, I, don't, I forgot what it was. Three nine oh four. That is three nine oh four electret microphone preamp. So the input would be right here and that would be ground. Uh, this variable resistor will control how much amplification you get. Uh, the output is, of course, through the yellow wire here, which connects to the 741. So eventually what you will have is a microphone connected to over here, and the output comes out from there, uh, which will be inverted. Now usually if I were to test this, I would connect my earbud to the breadboard with some alligator clip and my microphone to over here but I don't have my microphone right now I think I lost it but the mic looks like this to give you an idea there was a lot of noise picked up by this wire because um, for some reason so I had to put some shielding on it on the wire so then there's another issue when it comes to noise cancelling. You're dealing with acoustics, you're dealing with this sound wave. And there's a lot more to just inverting a signal when it comes to cancelling out noise because there's a phase. To give you some more context on the sound waves, well, if you have a sine wave like this, um, that's, I think that's negative sine wave. Wait, whatever, doesn't really matter. If you have a sine wave like this, and if I draw another sine wave on here, that is out of phase, you get this sine wave that is shifted to the right or left in depending on what degree it is. So if this sine wave and this sine wave have different phase and if there is a phase difference between these two, um, they will not exactly match and they will not exactly cancel. Which means when you hold up the microphone next to your ear in nearby the earbud, you will have to make it you have to keep the microphone as close to your ear and try to, you know, adjust a little bit to make it parallel to your ear. Oh, I've almost forgot to mention these um, variable resistors. Yes, these variable resistors are there to control how much you, how much amplification you want. Amplification you want. Amplification, damn it. Anyways, if you amplify the inverted sound way too much, you will get some more noise. If you amplify less than what it is, you will it won't cancel out completely you will, will be you will be canceling just a part of it so so these re variable resistor um, you will need to adjust as you go around to see what level it cancels out the noise with the best this is science and we want some graphs and numbers this is also the scope reading of a kind of dummy head I made to measure how much noise it cancels as you can see there's a very very slight bit change of amplitude but there's no perfect cancellation. It's unclear if it's the amplification amplification, god damn it. Trust me, it's a hard word. It's unclear if it's if it's amplification or out of phase problem we are having here. It could be both, it could be either one. Now I told you that I lost my mic, so I decided to come up with a solution to replace that mic. Uh, one of my solution was I found this new earbud that was originally made for Sony Xperia Mobile which has noise cancelling inside the cell phone so if you plug this earbud in there's a mic there's a earbud and 
uh, one of these is mic, one of these is earbud, and there's a ground. Uh, when you connect this, when you connect this to your cell phone, your cell phone does the um, this kind of business, and this earbud is just an earbud for that. So hey, this solves a lot of problem, right? It's got a microphone and an earbud inside, so it's you don't have to hold the microphone next to your earbud. In it, in any case, I was going to connect these and try them out, but there was but there was some issues. Issue number one: pinouts. So I first came up with theory that this these pinouts looked like that, which wasn't true. And then I tested it again, see if this pinout was true. Well, this wasn't true again. And then whole thing just kind of fell into mystery. That is not so much a problem, it just takes more time to figure out and reverse engineer the thing. But there was more serious issue. And the reason why I can't show you this circuit working in front of you right now is that I, I actually burnt the entire circuit. So the power supply here, well, supplies 20 volts. Um, 20 volts to this wire and just the ground to this wire. Usually you would have to connect ground wire to the first lane here. But then I was testing out the circuit, accidentally connected this negative 10 volt into the ground. Oops, I already did again. Yeah, as you can see the LED is dead, the 741 is probably dead and this transistor is already dead too probably. Well, there's not much components in there. The resistor and capacitors and variables, they are probably fine. Why don't, why don't I just change out the transistor and 741? Sure I can, but I don't have spare parts right now. Well, on that, thanks for watching this video. Have a good night.